so much for being here this afternoon. Yeah, it's difficult, the fanatic. Go ahead, get it all out. <laughs> so, every year, every year we come and we welcome young people, we welcome their parents um, across the city to attend our recreation centers, our libraries, our community centers, our public pools, our ice rinks, our key spots. It's okay because summer is about fun. That's why we call it Fun Safe Philly Summer. It's all right. The fanatic can, can do, do his thing until the mayor takes the mic. Then you have to be quiet. <laughs> our key spots, parks, and so much more to stay active, safe, healthy, and learning throughout the summer. And this is, this is the uh, brainstorm of our mayor. And standing behind me, okay, standing behind me is, of course, our mayor, Michael A. Nutter. Could we give it up for our mayor, please? Yes. Yes. And to my left is my deputy mayor, Michael DeBerardinas. So, how many young people are here from this neighborhood? Is everybody around here from this neighborhood? And young, yes, thank you. Yes. I'm sure you're a part of all the programming that we have going on around here. And we're happy to have you here. We're happy to have your parents here. Because one of the reasons Fun Safe Philly Summer was started is because parents were saying, we don't have enough to do for our young people. And our mayor said, we're going to make sure not only that you have enough, but we're going to let you know where everything is for you to make sure you can get your young people involved. And so with that being said, I'd like to bring to the mic, introduce to some, present to other others, our mayor, <laughs> Michael A. Nutter. <laughs> you just really haven't been kissed or you've been kissed by the fanatic, let me assure you. <laughs> it, is a, it is an experience. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the one very serious thing I will say is uh, voted, uh, by, uh, voted upon all across the country, uh, many of you may not know that the, that the Philly Fanatic is considered the best team mascot in the United States of America. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> At some point, we'll actually get through this press conference. <laughs> But uh, we want to give a big, big round of applause to, uh, to Sue Slauson and the entire team in the uh, Recreation and Program uh, Division of Parks and Recreation. Please give it up for our rec, rec folks. <laughs> Hold on. I got... <laughs> Thank you. This is fanatic all over the place. <laughs> Mike D., our deputy mayor, he and his entire team and all the departments working together <laughs> <laughs> do a fantastic job, and uh, I know that weather was a little crazy yesterday, and hopefully uh, nothing will happen today, but summer is coming. Summer is coming in Philly, and, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, Philadelphia gets all four full seasons of weather. We had the, the second snowiest winter in the history of the city of Philadelphia, 68 inches of snow this past winter. It was rough, so, um, and, and it was cold a lot. So uh, it'll be it'll be warm, uh, but no one should complain about this uh, about this summer. Uh, we have a ton of folks who we want to thank, uh, and uh, more importantly, we have a bunch of kids, young people out here. Can we give them a big, big round of applause? Boost these young people, support them, give them encouragement. We're going to have a whole lot of fun this summer. We have uh, some special guests here with us today. I'm going to announce them: Jim Harmon, 
is uh, here representing the United States Department of Agriculture. You saw some of the uh, fresh uh, fruits uh, and everything that are inside. We promote through our summer programs uh, fresh fruits uh, and, uh, and good healthy eating. So give it up for the USDA uh, and the uh, Department of Agriculture. Carol Williams is a board member of the Garces Foundation. Everyone knows uh, Garces uh, and the great, great restaurants and fantastic, our great chef, uh, Garces, uh, and uh, we thank Carol. We have North Philly's own, Nia Ali, gold medal winner in the USA and international championships in the 60-meter hurdles. Give it up for Nia. Thank you, dear. She's here. Oh, sorry, Nia. <laughs> Clearly, that was a mistake. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry. Just, just smack him in the head or something. Um, Maya Giacomoitz and Katie, uh, Katie Martin are from our policy office, and we thank them uh, for uh, their coordination. And uh, Kristen Bell is our Fun Safe Philly Summer Coordinator. I want to thank her. Now, for me, uh, this announcement is one of the great uh, signals uh, that uh, summer is coming. But it, for me, it really is not fully summer until I've had my Rita's water ice. And I have not had a Rita's water ice yet, but I'm, that's, that's, what I, that's when I know it's really is summertime. Give it up for Rita's water ice. They're one of our co-sponsors and supporters. ShopRite and Thriftway are supporting us as well. We want to thank them uh, also. Deputy Police Commissioner Bethel uh, is here with us uh, this afternoon. Commissioner, thank you so, so much. Uh, and certainly uh, Police Commissioner Ramsey uh, in his absence. Today is the kickoff day for Fun Philly Summer. It's a one-stop shop for free and low-cost summer activities, mostly all free. Our goal is really simple. We want to connect our young people who are looking for something to do and their parents with opportunities to be involved in positive, engaged, uh, fun activities uh, where they'll be in a safe and secure environment. And there should be no safer environment anywhere in the city of Philadelphia than at one of our rec centers, at one of our a park facility is uh, one of our libraries. These are very safe and sacred places uh, throughout the city, and we need to make sure that adults understand that. There may be some folks out in the street doing all kinds of things. Do not engage in that kind of activity at one of our recreation centers. We will not tolerate any kind of nonsense at our rec centers. We'll look out for our children. I'm also pleased to announce that, uh, of course, not only are all of our rec centers open, but Every one of our swimming pools will be open this summer uh, here in Philadelphia. Every one of them. So there's a whole lot to do. Little known fact, a fanatic cannot swim. Um, there are a lot of activities. You can jump rope, play kickball, pick sides for tug of war, and a whole lot of other stuff. I also want you to keep in mind uh, that today's field day is a small part of what's available and um, will be available every single day at our local recreation centers, our swimming pools, and our libraries. And for some, uh, you know, it was not only about uh, summertime and going to a rec center. I used to go to uh, Sherwood Recreation Center. It's now uh, Christie uh, over in West Philadelphia. Sometimes I would also go over to uh, Memorial Hall, that uh, big, big pool over there uh, in play, but also in swim, uh, but also uh, worked uh, during the summer. And we've been pushing very, very hard with many of our employers to make sure that we get summer jobs for our teenagers. Uh, and uh, we're appealing again uh, to the business community. I was on the phone with some folks, and we had other people in the office. Uh, got, that particular day, we got about 100 jobs, uh, and uh, we encourage our employers, please help us. Oh, thank you, Fanatic. Oh, summer is here. Reader's what I Absolutely. <laughs> we encourage our employers to, uh, to help our young people. Uh, I used to work in the neighborhood drugstore when I was a kid, uh, and uh, it's a good thing. It's the right thing. So. All of these activities uh, help to set our young people on the right path. And speaking of that, the Parks and Recreation Department is hiring lifeguards. We need lifeguards for our swimming pools. That is a job. You can get a job. Now, obviously, you've got to know how to swim. Uh, but uh, uh, we need lifeguards in every part of the city, uh, north, uh, south, and southeast re southwest regions in particular. Uh, so we're making a call out uh, for lifeguards, and a lot of our young people get uh, good jobs that, that way. If you're not looking for a job just yet or just not ready, you can volunteer at a hospital, clean up in your community, or help one of our elderly neighbors. Earlier today, I was up in the northeast section of Philadelphia seeing 29 centenarians. Does anybody know what a centenarian is? A centenarian is someone who is at least 100 years old. 
I saw 29 people today who are at least 100 years old. The oldest uh, gentleman was 102, and the oldest lady, the, the most elderly woman I saw today was 108 years old uh, up in the Northeast today. Philly, is, uh, Philly has one of the highest populations of uh, older uh, citizens of any city in the, in the country. If you need more information, go to the website, www.funsafephillysummer.com. You can learn more about all of these activities. You can follow us on Twitter, at Philly Summer, or you can go to the city's Facebook page. I know all these young people know about Facebook. Lastly, summer meals. Before I wrap up, I want to talk about our free summer meals program. We want to make sure that as many people as possible, young people, receive uh, the free summer meals that are available. Last year, 3.4 million meals were provided at nearly 1,400 different sites all across the city. But unfortunately, many of our young people still did not participate, and they are eligible. So we want to get that information out. Now, I know every one of these young folks, and uh, many who are young at heart, know about texting. And so you want to text M-E-A-L-P-A to 877-877. You can find out about a free meal location near you in your neighborhood. Lastly, to our parents and guardians, please send your children uh, to the local meal distribution location for these free summer meals. The food is good, and it's free. It doesn't get much better than that. It's good for them as well, and it's healthy, and it's free and easy. And we want you to take advantage of all of these summer resources. And remember, stay safe and have fun. And with that, I'm going to bring up to the microphone North Philly's own, Nia Ali. Okay, um, I promise not to make this too painful. So, um, as Mayor Nutter just said, I am actually the 2014 world champion in the 60 meter hurdles, track and field. <laughs> so, um, growing up in Philadelphia, I actually, um, I was like a lot of the younger kids out here just feeling like, Philly was all there is, and you know we have this sense of pride where we just feel like it's the best, and I mean it is the best, but we just feel like that there's nothing else out there, so I actually took it upon myself to ask my mom to um, enroll me into a lot of summer programs, basketball camp, AAU, different summer camps, because we have like, the <laughs> yeah, I play ball. <laughs> Because we have this um, this type of arrogance about us, you know, we like we feel like we're better than everybody. Like we always have to feel like we have to compete. So I felt like we should take that and make it more positive and compete where we can actually not get in trouble for it. So I went out there and I played with the boys, got beat up on, took a lot of hits. Finally, my mom let me join the track team and um, I ran for Mallory Challengers Track Club starting at the age of six. Started out running cross country, then went to sprints, did high jump, did a whole bunch of things that I just felt like I could find my place and maybe find a point where I could become something. And that's where I found the hurdles, my senior year of high school. Um, I ended up doing really well. I stuck with it. And I went to USC, which is in California. Um, to you with the cow shirt, that needs to be Trojans. <laughs> But yeah, so I went to school in Los Angeles where I currently reside, and now I get to travel the world for a living. So I've been to places like London, um, Asia, Madrid, Spain, Paris. I'm actually on my way to Poland right now, and I stopped here to try to encourage you guys to do more and think more of yourself and have more confidence because you can actually do more than you think you can. And these people that you guys, I mean, how many of you are LeBron fans out here? How, KD? So do you think you can be that? Do you, do you think you can get there? So so to, to accomplish those things, you got to start somewhere. You can't just say that you want to do it. You got to put a title on yourself starting now. You got to make your brand starting now. So when you introduce yourself to people, you got to believe, hey, I'm, I'm James. I'm this basketball player. I'm, I'm Tyrone, the football player. I'm the baseball player. Whatever it may be, you start, you make your brand starting now. And I just wanted to say, I mean, I guess I could just make this short, uh, just by ending and saying that I was once 
in all of you guys' shoes. And I started here, and I feel like that everyone, it's, it's a lot of potential here. It's a lot of talent, and I want to see you guys make it. So that's why I come back often. I try to encourage you guys to get out of here because it's, it's very possible. So I'd like to see you guys where I am someday, and I'll be here watching. Thank you. Leah, thank you so much. And um, I have this uh, tribute for you uh, from uh, the city. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I did want to add in, uh, just uh, give this part. This is a citation from the city of Philadelphia. Uh, because of a, a devastating family tragedy made necessary for Nia to forego competition during the 2010 season, and she came back even stronger in 2011 to win the NCAA Outdoor and World University Games 100-meter hurdles champion titles. In 2013, she finished third at the USA Outdoors and secured her spot in the uh, IAF, IAFF World Championships held in Moscow. Nia took the 2014 USA Indoor 60-meter hurdle championship, and in March of 2014, Nia brought home the gold by winning the IAFF World Indoor 60-meter hurdle championship title. On Thursday, May 29, 2014, Nia Ali will be honored during the City of Philadelphia's Fun Safe Philly program kickoff at the Martin Luther King Jr. Recreation Center. It is fitting and appropriate, therefore, that the City of Philadelphia officially recognize with this citation Nia Ali and congratulate her on receiving the IAFF World Indoor 60-meter hurdle gold medal and for her outstanding championship performance during her athletic career. We commend her for serving as a role model of excellence to inspire the young people of Philadelphia. Signed by me as the mayor of Philadelphia, this is an official document of our great city. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Nia, for being here to share this wonderful opportunity for us to hear your story and to encourage our young people to know that there's nothing, there's no ceiling, there's no ceiling, there's no ceiling. And you just proved that, Nia, so we are grateful that you're here today. And Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for presenting her with that citation from the city. I'd like to introduce um, the USDA Regional Administrator. Philadelphia is the largest provider statewide of summer meals to young people. In fact, Parks and Recreation has approximately 140 sites in our facilities and play streets. It's an important part of our mission to make sure that the youth are not only active, but also healthy. With that being said, I'd like to ask for Jim Harmon, Regional Director of Special Nutrition Programs and an important advocate for healthy, nutritious eating in Philadelphia. Jim, could you come to the mic? <laughs> Good afternoon. I knew that was coming. <laughs> uh, so proud to be here today to represent the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, we consider ourselves a strong partner with Philadelphia and other cities around the country. Um, th through the USDA, uh, our, one of our highest priorities is to provide nutritious meals during the summer for children who might not otherwise have access to those meals. During the school year, about 31 million children receive nutritious breakfasts and lunches through the National School Lunch Program and School Breakfast Program. Yet, once school lets out, many children do not have access to safe, healthy meals. So the Summer Meals Program, which you've just heard a little bit about, is designed to fill that gap, to provide nutritious meals to children during the summer who depend so much on these meals when school is in session. Um, as important as this is, nationally, we're having a real tough time reaching as many children as we want. We, we only reach about 16% of those children that, that receive meals during the school year. Um, and we all know we have to do a better job than that. Now, Pennsylvania is doing much better than most of the states. The Food Research and Action Center ranked Phil, uh, Pennsylvania eighth in the country in reaching children that would normally get meals during the school year in the summer. Um, and that's quite a, a, a benefit. Um, and certainly Parks and Recs, if you just heard, is leading in, in Pennsylvania. Um, last year, through the leadership of Mayor Nutter and the Parks and Rec staff, um, they've reached about 50,000 children every day with nutritious meals. And we think that's fantastic and so happy to be part of that initiative. Uh, as important as we feel that nutritious meals are important to children, certainly physical activity and other program activities such as what you're going to see later today is also equally important to the health of children. 
So that's what Fun Safe Philly is all about. So again, um, thank you so much for allowing us to be part of this uh, program today. And I wish everyone a fun, safe, and healthy summer. Thank you. We're, all, we're almost there. Now I'd like to introduce Carol Williams from the Garces Foundation. The Garces Foundation works to ensure that Philadelphia's underserved immigrant community has access to medical, educational, and nutritional services. Today, they provided healthy snacks for all attendees. And I see a whole lot of people walking around here eating a little bit of everything. So we'd like to say thank you, Carol, for that. And if you would, come to the mic. Thank you. On behalf of Chef Jose Garces, Dr. Beatrice Garces, and the Garces Foundation, we're pleased to support the Fun Save Philly initiative. Um, we express our wholehearted support for this initiative and our support for the mayor. Um, one of the primary goals of the Garces Foundation is to educate and empower youth to make healthy lifestyle choices. However, we recognize that this can't happen without access to affordable meals. We're proud to be a sponsor of the Fun Safe Philly Summer Kickoff, and we hope to further support the mayor's mission by providing free summer field trips to Luna Farms. That's the Garces Family Farm, where they also have produce that they use at a lot of their restaurants. Um, this way, kids can learn how to harvest their own produce, cook their own meals, how food is grown. Last year, we launched this program at Luna Farm, and again, demonstrating the importance of healthy diet and exercise. The goal is to help children learn about nutritious meals, and also give an opportunity for the children to tour the farm and learn how to grow and prepare natural foods. So again, um, we're pleased to support this initiative on behalf of the board of the foundation. Thank you, Mayor Nutter. Um, we share your abiding commitment to impact and improve Philadelphia's community, and we look forward to continued partnership on this initiative. Again, thank you all for coming out today. And I just want to give one last shout out to the staff here, Jamal Coleman, who is the leader here, Mika, Bahia, Bo, all of you, Miss Betty, thank you for all your hard work at this facility. We couldn't make today happen without you. And for those of you that would like to come up and meet Nia, shake her hand, get an autograph, or just hear her story again, please feel free. She's going to hang around come up and let her know just how much we appreciate her being homegrown Philadelphia. Thank you. <laughs>